Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by the Hotel for Family Fun, all over the world, Holiday Inn. And... This program is brought to you by Toyota. Today's episode, the statue steel or Togo to go. <laughs> Come shoes. Carmen San Diego's pack of pusillanimous punks has prowled again. This time, they clinched their criminal claws around a statue in the African nation of Togo. A monument to a plane wreck might seem strange, but it's one of the main attractions in the town of Serakawa, Togo. It marks the spot where a plane carrying President Erdema crashed under very suspicious circumstances in 1974. The president survived the crash and erected an imposing statue of himself at the site. It shows him pointing to the ground and saying, they almost killed me here. It stood in defiance of the president's enemies until today, when Wonder Rat, <laughs> Carmen's whiskered and witless Waterby, took his tawdry tight to Togo, detached the statue, and scampered away. He left an inflatable oh. Wonder Rat doll in its place. Your mission, Gumshoes, snap the trap shut on Wonder Rat. Return Aedema's statue to Togo, and then capture Carmen San Diego. They've ripped off the goods, now chase down those hoods. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. John Scott. <laughs> Union Tang. <laughs> Nick Perez. <laughs> and this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits. Greg Lee! Oh! Oh, yeah! Why, thank you. What a crowd. Very nice. Thanks, guys. How are you guys? You heard about the case? I guess we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. And as always, all of our facts have been verified by uh, National Geographic World, okay? Chief, let's go. Greg. Wonder Rat has stolen Aedema's statue, and there's no time to lose. Now, here's the rap sheet on Wonder Rat. He's Wonder Rat, fabulous Wonder Rat, the mighty Wonder Rat. He's so desperate to promote himself, he posed for the photo on a box of rat poison. Now, gee, what should I have? Should I have the crocodile, the zebra giraffe, or the warthog? I just can't decide. It's... No. Acme, watch for a falling president's net has tracked Wonder Rat to a Kenyan city that's home to the famous Carnivore Restaurant. And those exotic meats really are on the menu. The town was founded in the 1890s by the British as a headquarters for the construction of the Mombasa to Uganda Railroad. Now, the railroad was nicknamed the Lunatic Line, partly because of its high cost. It also had a little problem with workers becoming dinner for the wildlife. In one case, the superintendent of police was dragged from inside a rail car by a hungry lion. Well, in fact, that very same car can still be seen there today. Now, there's a very basic lesson here, gumshoes. It's better to eat than be eaten. Now, let's see. What shall I have? A crocodile, maybe. Okay, thanks, Chief. All right, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Nairobi, Kampala, or Dar es Salaam? Remember the clues that we heard? City in Kenya, the carnivore restaurant, and former British headquarters for the Mobasa to Uganda Railroad. John's ready, so is uh, Yuyen, and Nick is still making up his mind at this time, but now he's ready. John, we'll start with you. What do you say? Okay, I chose Nairobi. Nairobi, what do you think, Yuyen? I chose Nairobi. Nairobi, Nick? I chose Kampala. Kampala, the answer we're looking for is Nairobi. Nice job, John and Yuyen. Okay, so that is John Yo 60, Yu Yen 60, Nick 50, Crime Bucks. John, tell me about the talent show you were just in. Well, um, it was a while ago, and I did stand-up comedy for it. Um, I guess I was pretty funny. I have to let the audience decide for that. Um, that was just about it. 
uh, Nick Perez was in it with me. Oh, very good. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. You, Yang, you have a uh, collection you were telling me about. Yeah, it's a coin collection. Um, it's, it's dented coins. It's really weird, but, you know, it's unique, I guess. It's what? Bent? It's bent. Bent and coins. Oh, great. Okay, well. Uh, Nick, you tell me about the talent show. Well, me and a few friends were in a... We had dressed up as, as the singing group Wilson Phillips, and we kind of... Uh, <laughs> basically made fools of ourselves but it was a good, it was a good time <laughs> well that's kind of what we do here as well so i hope you enjoy yourself uh please welcome them all to the show if you would please let us <laughs> all right you guys are off to a good start let's continue to try to find wonder Rat. for our next clue we turn to our loyal and trusted informant from acme roughnet and as always our acme canine language interpreter how are you good peachy good. nice to have you with us you. okay fidel what do you say Wonder Rats in a Malaysian city whose name means muddy confluence. Hmm, what's oh. confluence? Ooh. He said it's a place where two rivers unite. Duh. He also says main gassing is a major sport there. That's the Malay name for spinning tops. It's more than just a game for kids. Adult teams compete using tops that weigh as much as 15 pounds and the record spinning time is almost two hours. He said all that. You said all that in one wolf? That's what he said. He says it's all in the pronunciation. Oh, my. My goodness. Well, listen, thank, thank you so much for dropping by. Thanks, Fido. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, go get it, boy. All right, guys. <laughs> Name the city, if you will, please. Is it Phnom Penh, Singapore, or Kuala Lumpur? Remember the clues that we heard? City of Malaysia, its name means muddy confluence, and top spinning is a major sport. Everybody's ready? John, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. Uh, Yu Yen. I chose Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Nick. I choose Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. The answer we're looking for is Kuala Lumpur. Nice job, fellas. Okay, so that means John has 70, Yu Yen 60, and Nick 60 crime bucks. Now, Acme Crime Net now reports that Wonder Rat is in Hawaii. So, okay, you guys know what that means. It's time for the... Uh, Oh my. So how are you doing? You ready? Okay, boy. Ready? Go. Hey, hey, hey. Go get it. Hey. He's in Hawaii, so that means that all of these questions for the uh, lightning round will be about Hawaii. Okay, so each one's worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Just listen to me. Here we go. About how many hotel rooms are there in Waikiki Beach? Is it 2,760, 9,640, or 38,000? Uh, Nick? 38,000. 38,000 is right. Nice job. Bye for you. A lot of ice buckets. Okay, question two. One of uh, Oahu's most famous attractions is Diamond Head. Is Diamond Head the name of the hula rap singer, a volcano, or a diamond mine? John. A volcano? A volcano's right. Yes, very good. Yes. <laughs> question three. In what year did Hawaii become a state? Was it 1959, 1963, or 1971? Yuyen. 1971. Sorry, not 1979. Oh, oh uh, Nick. 1963? No, it wasn't 1963. John, was it 1959, 1963, or 1971? John? 1953. No, I'm sorry. It was 1959. Sorry, guys, about that one. That one hurt. Okay, uh, so that means at the end of that round, John, you have 75, you, Yen, has 60, and Nick, 65 crime bucks. Okay, nice job, guys. For our next clue, we now turn to... Greg, get in here right away. Hmm? This, this man will be right there. You guys stay here. Let me check with her. Oh, this is a fine time to redecorate your office. Well, I'm not redecorating my office. These men came in and broke a hole in my wall. Look, please. Oh, hey. oh, We're digging a sewer line. Oh, hey, oh. I mean, either we put it through here, or we got to do a 2,000-mile detour. And according to my blueprints, Max, the blueprints, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. There's not supposed to be anything here. That's because this is the secret headquarters of, of Acme Crime Network. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, heck. Uh. We are never going to capture Carmen Sandiego with all of these distractions. Hey, Acme Crime Net, you're those guys trying to capture that uh, Carmen character? Hey, I remember when she tried to steal that Washington uh, Monument thing. It took us a week to glue that thing back into place. <laughs> That's right. But heck, for you guys, a little 2,000-mile diversion, eh, no problem. Oh, well, uh, what about the hole? Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. We'll repair the wall, and just so there's no hard feelings, we'll send the gumshoe who captures Carmen to anywhere in North America for free. Deal? Uh, that sounds, uh... <laughs> I think you guys are great, you know? And you know what else I like? I like every day when you come into the, uh, the, the, the office here, yeah. and then you tell him to... Go away. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Wow. He, uh, he really likes that part. You too. Yes, ma'am. Wasn't Scott just the dog guy, and now he's... Ah, never mind. Okay, guys, uh, remember, we're still looking for the statue and Wonder Rat. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Wonder Rat and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Acme's about to trap you. Head for a city whose population went from zero to 10,000 in one day. Oh, wait, cheese! Why the big hurry? Because the U.S. government was giving the land away. It's in a state that was called Indian Territory until it was open for settlement. At noon on April 22nd, 1889, gunshots were fired. That was the signal for thousands of people to charge in and stake their claims. So the government took Indian Territory...